answer game number one between Blacklist as well as Geek Fam. And as you can see here, with different set of winning conditions as well, it is going to be very interesting to see how this actually pans out. Jana Cutie is going to be on an assassin versus someone like the Akai. And I gotta say, when it comes down to those neutral objectives, I do believe that Blacklist is gonna have a little bit of an advantage. Right here again, Venus already forcing Jana with that retribution. Uh oh. Well, oh my Venus here, forcing use the flicker 2v1. Oh, oh my Venus just there to buy time, it seems like. And Jana Cutie will take the first blood. For Geek Fam now, we can see here another invade Edward with that Teresla. And not be able to find anything but the Akai trying to find the invade here. Early minutes, Blacklist already pressuring Geek Fam. Very, very aggressive plays here coming in from Blacklist. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. But right now, Beloitsky is going to get taken very low. He is going to be forced to retreat as of right now. But you can see here on the top side as well, why he's going to be caught in a 2v1 situation. You can see the shards come in and John Acuti is going to be able to get another pick off on the board. That's 2-0-0 zero, zero here in the first minute. Wow, Geek Fam actually responding the pressure from Blacklist. Blacklist very, very well here. Picking up two kills, especially to the hands of the Amon. That might be trouble for side of Blacklist. Let's see though. Blacklist here slightly behind as the turtle will spawn in 10 seconds. Yeah, that's definitely not a hero that you want to let snowball from the early game. That's exactly how the Amon likes to play. We are going to see two seconds left on the clock for the next neutral objective to spawn, though. And we're going to see just exactly how Wise is going to be able to win this retribution battle, even though he is kind of behind. But in terms of level, it does seem like they're equal. But here we go, Wise. God, heavy spin. 4v4 now. Jana finds the Lord, though. And it seems like with the Mnune Glass catches one, it seems like all oh my Venus will not be able to find anything. Beloisky caught there. 1-4-1. One one. But Edward gets taken down. Geek Fam here responding very well. But oh my Venus with the flicker play finds another. Jana QT falls. And at the end of the day, it's going to be 1-4-1. One one. But the turtle will fall to the hands of Geek. Yeah, still a good play for Geek Fan because they were able to secure that objective and nearly, nearly costed Venus's life. But luckily, he was able to get a comp so yep. some sort of compensation play, on the yeah. board, right? But now you can see, don't forget, if you guys want to level up your coin farming skills in the game and even out of the game, check out HSBC as well. I mean, right now, Geek Fam, oh, oh my Venus caught there. No fall damage with Wise and Haji. Would like to play very, very aggressively here. Forced to use the flicker there, Beloisky. Right now, the tempo has gone down here for both teams. And if you guys want a, well, an unrivaled gaming experience, check out the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 5G. Blacklist, again, leading in goal. But now, Beloisky catches two. Numium last catches four though. Call alter both sides. Out. Oh my god, the silence is huge. Wise jumps and Beloisky gonna be the first one to fall. Haji traded back. One for one. The roamer for the mid laner. Still a good trade for Geek Fam actually in this particular position. A mid laner for a roamer. But as you can see here in the top side, Edward and Luke really going at it. But he might be in trouble. Forced to flicker right now as Janakuti is still able to back him up. And Edward forced to retreat. Wow, we do need to know that Luke is actually on the high end dry. So what they're saying is they want more damage for this drop. Right now, again, a mid lane action. Oh my goodness, caught here. Pulls back as well. Forced to use the flicker, but Dara is here to deal damage. Wise, pop that heavy spin on towards Beloisky. Beloisky might be the one to fall here. But take a look at the endless shards here. Taking Wise low. But oh, heavy in the backside. Pl with that, well, blazing duet. Not find a member, two members down now. And it seems like John IQT will be traded. Now, Edward with the Sterizla is just dealing a lot of damage. Two for two at the end of the day. What was that by Edward? I mean, he goes in, is able to take two members down off the board and actually give Blacklist the space to be able to get this neutral objective uncontested. He is forced to kind of leave his lane a bit. And you can see that Luke is trying to push it, but in... General, that is definitely worth it for Blacklist. 
what initially was Geek Fan being able to control the tempo has actually now fallen to the PH representatives. A little overcommitment there from side of Geek Fan. Wise will claim that lethal with that retribution, but do note this. We talked about the massive crowd control that the Blacklist composition has and only one Purify on the board towards out of Geek Fam. So Kadira needs to be very careful on the positioning. Item wise here, well, Ohad, VHS, Golden Staff coming very soon. And Kadira, Windtalker. So I guess both Marksmen here armed up rather okay. Yeah, but I do believe that Oheb is going to reach that power spike a lot sooner than Kadera. So Geek Fam, they need to play this more carefully. They do. They were able to have that initial grasp in that early game. But as soon as Oheb is able to get that Golden Staff and reach his power spike, they can't play as overzealous as they were before. Hmm. Well, item-wise, is quite interesting here. Dominus Ice hasn't been built from Geek Fam now. Loiski, Wise in the front side. Heavy Spin catches Maloiski, forces him to use the picker call. Ultra pops as well. Now, Oh My Vien is already flanking. Newman Blast looks to catch his two, three almost. But now, looking for the engage. A boy might be the right target. Luke trying to deal damage in the back side. Call Ultra pops. And now, Blacklist, they are angry here in the mid side. But Geek Fam with a very intelligent disengage. No casualties whatsoever. They might go for the mid here. They might go for the mid here as Blacklist is still leading with a quite amount of hefty gold. Initially 1,000, Geek Fam able to equalize a little bit but still Blacklist in the lead. They're going to be able to push that top side as Oheb. There you go, the power spike that we were talking about, that Golden Staff has already been secured. And now with that in mind, Oheb, especially with the additional of the WON or the WAN, he is going to be able to deal more damage with that baby duet and be a lot more versatile. But in the top side, Edward is actually going to be punished with how aggressive he has been laning on that Terizla. And that is going to be giving Jana Cutie an additional kill already sitting at a 6-2-1 KDA. Don't underestimate the burst power from Jana. The endless shards might just take your life away just like that. And Blacklist though, finding compensation both side. Oh, 3v2. Oh, Kadira right here. Need the right target. Alter, Alter though, popped. Newman Blast again catching three. A huge one. Oheb now stunned mid. Blazing duet under the turret. He gets taken down. A very smart outplay in the mid side. Jana surviving with low HP. What happened there? Oh no, I mean Blacklist, they're looking for pickoffs on the board here. They were trying to punish Kadera in that bottom side, but instead Oheb was the one to be taken down. So now Geekfam, they're starting to equalize here. Only a 400, 500 gold difference. And we can see Geekfam being a lot more comfortable when it comes down to those rotations. Man, I agree. Geekfam here. As of now, it seems like they can withstand China. Oh no, Heb! He's gonna get punished once again. We mentioned this, the burst potential that Jana Cutie can have, but look at this. The Noam Blast actually gets cancelled here as Belois is gonna be able to use the I'm Offended to cancel that really well. They are gonna get two members down, and Johnny, here we go. Oh my god, Calter, heavy spin pops, comb combination just for a disengage though. Geek Fam now still in control. Why? Has no retribution, but Geek Fam will not overcommit on towards that one. They look for the mid here, it seems like. Will oh. they get it? Take a look at the wall charge. Catching two. And now Wise instant deleted. Edwards trying to struggling to dis escape as that glowing one finds the kill. Luke and Veloy's kill. 5v3 is this wise move. Venus gets caught as well. And one by one, we can see three bodies from the side of Blacklist there in the Land of Dawn. That was a 3 for 0 trade for Geek Fam as they are going to be able to get a turret in that mid side in addition to all those bodies landing onto the floor. And they are going to be converting instantly onto the Lord. What's going on here? Geek Fam leading with 2,000 gold. We can see uncontested as Blacklist. Now they're the ones behind. They're the ones struggling to find an answer. Well, in hindsight, I doubted the um, spells. From Kadira there. Sprint very, very risky against Kai, against Lolita, and even Terizla. He also for that sprint, but it seems like with only just one death, Kadira finding the efficient positioning. And as of now, I can't complain. Yes. With that sprint, it just works. You're right. I mean, he's able to kite away really well. Even if he gets stunned up, he is going to be able to go without the CC, but... 
Jana Cutie, what are you doing alone? A 1v3. He's going to be taken down before that Lord even hits onto Blacklist. That's actually a really good movement. And Blacklist, they're going to be able to get a tower in the top side. So trying to look for a mirror play, alleviating the pressure that Geek Fam have brought themselves with taking that Lord. A very good setup indeed. Jana with no little to no information. He wanders top side. Gets punished. So now Geek Fam with this Lord push might not be able to destroyed. take. Oh, they can take the tier tier two bot side, and they are looking for the tier two mid. Why though catching a boy? Purify pop there. Call alter is up, and Kadera he's in trouble. A lot of resources here on towards the back side. Human blast catches two again. Geek Fam now all out war. Luke gets taken down by Oheb and a boy is looking to go down next. Gadara pop the win of nature in time. But now Jana looks for the assassination on towards Oh My Venus. Two members traded back for two. They're relying heavily onto Jana QT's damage and when he goes in you can see how bursty he is. Haji gonna be the next one to fall here. Three members down taken from Blacklist as Geek Fam once again picking up the tempo. 2,600 gold lead right now. They're trying to push that bottom side, still staying very disciplined. And that's exactly what they need to do. Don't overcommit. Don't make the mistakes. Because you know, when you make mistakes against oh. a team as strong as Blacklist, they're going to use that to their advantage. Man. That's no doubt. The small mistakes will definitely be capitalized by a team like Blacklist and Geek Fam. As of now, I mean, 11 minutes in already. Stellar performance, 3,500 gold lead. Take a look at the items here. Jana almost at full. Glowing one, Holy Crystal, Glaive, and of course that ju genius. But oh my god, in the jungles here. Oheb almost caught red handed there. Geek fam. What else do you see here? What is significant? Yeah, that's so much damage. And if we take a look at Kadira, he's been able to not get picked off once, right? 1 1 10 KDA. He has the lifesteal. He has the crit from the Berserker Fury as well. So he's kind of good to go in terms of those uh, team fights, right? And he's going to be able to sustain, especially with additional lifesteal coming in from that Haas Claws. Plus, he has the wand. So just in case we can see a Blazing Duet coming in from Oheb, he can just pop that. And that's instantly a challenge Another taken fight. away. Yeah, exactly. Another fight there. Now with the Lord here, spawned. Remember, this one is Enhanced Lord. And why is, of course, as Nakai, well, you have to contest. Let's see though. Oh, watch out, catches too. Oh, all alter pots by both sides here. Below his key, quite low. Be careful, but take a look at the movements here. Wise jumps and Numian Blast with the flicker does not really connect on any members of the geeks. But now, a re-engage might ensue. Geek Fam looking out for Oh My Venus. Every member is targeting Oh My Venus now. He gets wide low. This charge does not kill him. As actually, oh my god, Blazing Duet as a defense. Boloyski will not find anyone. Edward taking a lot of damage. Barrier pops as well. And now Edward finds the boy, but he gets raided back here. Oh, no, 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 Kadera. Oh, oh my god, in the backside, Kadera very low heal. But it seems like Kadira again, a perfect oh, hiding. Is that free Why? hitting in the backside and every member from side of Bleak Blacklist now is down. This is a wiped out for Geek Fam this time around as they have been able to take that end. team fight into their own hands. A 4,000 gold lead. Oh my Venus, the only one standing. This is a 4v1 situation. They're going to go ahead onto the base. The Numenon Blast gets cancelled with the I'm Offended as all their movements are onto that base. And this is the first game secured by the Indonesian representatives against all odds, 0 to 1. The Geeks showing that they are here to 